Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're going to be doing a hair tutorial. It has been a hot minute since we have done a hair tutorial. So these styles are perfect for finer and thinner hair as well as the longer bob style haircut like I'm rocking here. Um, yeah, let us get started. So we're gonna be starting off with more of a tousled, messy, curly look. So the first thing I like to do is put a little bit of heat protectant into my hair before getting started with a wand. And then I'll tie up half of my hair just to get that out of the way and then start on the curls. So starting here on the left hand side, I'm just taking a small section of hair and I'm gonna wrap that around a little bit looser and then leave a good one or two inches out at the end because I like my ends to be a little bit straighter with a style like this and I find that helps it look just a little bit more natural and it goes really well with this hair length as well. So now I'll just do another curl doing the exact same thing, wrap it around a couple times and leave one or two inches out at the end. Now here I'm just using the T3 Micro wand and I believe this is the one inch barrel. And also when I'm curling my hair, I always like to make sure that I'm curling away from my face. But if you wanted even more of a messier vibe, you could alternate the way that you're doing your curls and that always looks super cute as well. Once I'm finished with the bottom section of my hair, I'm gonna take out the top half, but I'm also gonna tie just loosely the bottom half out of my way so I don't mix it up with the top half. I just find that makes things a little bit easier. Then I always like to start doing the curls at the back of my head and then work my way to the front. Typically for the top section of my hair, I do my curls a little bit tighter and um, just wrap it around a little bit more because I find that helps give your hair a little bit more volume. Now, once I'm done the back sections, I like to save my front sections of hair that are framing my face for last because I don't like to curl those up closer to the root basically what I do is start about halfway down and just do a very loose curl around the wand there I don't like having super tight curls around my face so I find this is just like the best little technique is to just curl it halfway down and then you can kind of blend it in with the rest of your hair so I'll do that on either side and that pretty much finishes up this tousled curly look and you can just run your fingers through mess it up a little bit if you wanted to you could add some texturizing spray or some hairspray of your choice and that is basically it so this next hairstyle goes perfectly with the messy curls which is why I love it and it's very very quick and easy to do basically you're just gonna take the top section of your hair so it's gonna be like a half updo but I like to leave a lot more of the hair out around the side so you're pretty much only gonna want to grab the center section of your hair and then tie that up with a scrunchie I find a scrunchie just works best especially if you have finer and thinner hair because it just makes it seem like your bun up there is a little bit bigger and you can play around with color if you wanted to do that as well so I just take my scrunchie, loop my hair, twist the end piece around, and then tuck it into the scrunchie. So it's just a loose little bun up there. So I like going for a scrunchie that's closer to my hair color, but of course you could, you know, play around with it and have some fun with any color you like. And that is it. It is so easy to do. This last style is another pretty quick and easy one. So we're going to take a section of our hair on the right hand side and you're going to want to tie it closer to the back of your head and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So taking a smaller section of hair and pulling it towards the back of your head a little bit more and then tying it up with a little clear hair elastic. So basically we just have two little ponytails. Then what you're going to do is make a little hole in the first one and you're going to loop your hair through so we have a little topsy tail going Going on and then you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side just super super easy then what I like to do is just pull them back so that they're together and then pin them in place so you can use any funky barrette clips that you have or bobby pins whatever you have hanging around and it just adds a nice little touch this is a style that also looks super great with the curls and the topsy tail just adds a little bit of I don't know extra curl there to your hair it looks really cute and I think it gives a little bit more volume volume as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know which of the looks was your favorite and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!